What's up guys, Craft here, back with another tutorial on Pixelmon. So in my single player episode yesterday, I asked you guys if you guys did indeed want a tutorial on how to ride all different types of Pokemon that can't normally be ridden. Uh, so that's what this video is about. I'm also going to go through how to spawn all different types of legendary birds. I did do a video on how to spawn Mewtwo, which you can check out below. But uh, yeah, without further ado, we'll get to the tutorial. Okay guys, for the first step of this tutorial, I want you to go into the description below and pop out this link right here. Uh, it will have the download to the uh, database editing software. So you just pretty much open it up and download the freeware version. And once you've downloaded that, it will automatically detect all database files, which is that. Once you have downloaded and installed SQLite Expert, you want to find the database file to edit. So what you want to do is you just want to find your roaming, so just go run and then percent app data percent then go to dot minecraft and the database folder and you'll see this pixelmon db database file uh, now has the little sqlite expert uh, little thumbnail thing there so just double click him and it'll load up so this is what uh, essentially all of the pokemon run off when they spawn so this is pretty much it now what you guys want to do uh, we're going to go through the actual process of enabling the birds so what you want to do is you want to find Moltres, let's just go for him for example. And uh, this is what it looks like for you guys. You'll scroll across and you'll see that his spawn location is air persistent. Now um, this is just, it pretty much just blocks it. It's a new code that's meant to come in in future updates where they'll spawn really high up in the sky. Uh, if you guys saw on the official Pixelmon mod uh, YouTube channel, uh, you can actually see uh, this code in place. It's not in yet, maybe in a future update, but... Uh, as for now, it actually um, blocked the spawn of them spawning. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to, instead of air persistent, we're just going to put, uh, you're going to find it, here he is. Just take that off and just leave it as air. And that'll put him in the game now. So just to test that this actually works, we're going to go across here to rarity. And we're just going to put him up to lots of one and zeros just to make sure that he'll spawn straight away so we'll minus that off and we'll get this out and we're just going to do a little bit of a test to show our little Moltres running around is it Moltres or Moltres's not too sure <laughs> but uh, we'll just load this up I got a extreme hills biome loaded right next to me so this will go pretty great but uh, once you've uh, if you're just doing this for your own survival uh, pretty much just go across Articuno, Zapdos, the whole lot, and just take away uh, Persistent from Air, and uh, whereabouts is it? I think it's this way. I'm sorry if the screen lags a bit, it's normal, it's not my normal uh, recording software, it's actually just, uh, it's, oh, here we go, yep, there we go, there it was. Uh, so you'll see all the Moltres just flying around, I don't know how these Numble got to spawn in, that's ridiculous. Um, yeah, there we go, there's more Moltres. Oh, that one, well, they're really high, actually, some of them. But, uh, yeah, so that's just Moltres. Uh, so, that's just to prove that it actually does spawn. Whoa, that's so many Moltres. Let's see if we can find a shiny. <laughs> I, met, I did this with my Mewtwo. When I actually did this for my Mewtwo in my Mewtwo guide, I actually found a, um, a shiny Mewtwo. Oh, when they took damage, it looked like a shiny one. But, uh, yeah, I actually found a shiny Mewtwo. It was quite crazy. Um, so, yeah, that's that's pretty much it for Mewtwo. Um, sorry, not Mewtwo, Moltres. So, whoa, that is so many Moltres. But uh, yeah, so that's just uh, how to get the legendary birds rolling. So now I'll show you guys how to ride any Pokemon that you guys want to. So I'll see you guys in two seconds. Alright guys, now I'm going to show you how to ride any Pokemon you pretty much want to. So say for example, you think you should be able to ride Vibrava in the sky, just like Flygon. But you want Vibrava as well. So what you want to do is you just want to double click it. Get up this little menu again. And go down to the is rideable and click yes and that just makes it rideable and then click that and they can fly that's all you pretty much need to do with this um the hover works oh whoops don't take that off god okay yeah that would have been sad if i did the demonstration so yeah so that's all you need to do just go okay load up your minecraft again make sure you're not running minecraft when editing uh sorry when you're editing the database uh that'll give you an error whenever you try to input a value so just make sure it's closed and um, load it up you may also need to go into the uh, config of it and make sure that the database uh, does not update automatically. Alright, so now we'll go into single player, creative mode. May need to pull up a PC here just to show you guys. Uh, yep, I will. So there's all my Moltres again. 
running amok, aren't you? I gotta change that back before I start my next episode. Oh, <laughs> that'll be pretty sad. Just see all the Moltres everywhere. Alright, so let's take him out. Do I have a Bravo in here? No, I don't. Alright. So I'll just Pokey Give via Bravo. This isn't my single player, guys. This is just a, uh, this is just a test world, pretty much. Alright, so once I get that, just chuck him out. And you'll see now, I can now fly via Bravo. And god, he's a good choice, actually. He's pretty cool. He's really small, too. He's actually really good. I, I want to fly by Bravo in my own series. He is sick. Let's let's use him to find a... I probably shouldn't... Oh, man, he's got some good handling. Yeah, you can just test around um, with a couple of Pokemon. God, that is too many Moltres. But, uh, yeah, so it's really fun. And, uh, yeah, just do it to any Pokemon you want. Uh, but, yeah, so now I'm going to show you guys how to make uh, any... Like, ride any uh, water Pokemon, like surfing. So I'll get back to you guys in two seconds. Alright guys, now we're moving into how to ride Pokemon in the water. So like I did with my Cloyster on single player, I pretty much didn't do too much to him. So Blastoise is a Pokemon that can surf in the water at a pretty decent speed, just like other water Pokemon. Uh, now the requirements, I think as of now to like make them uh, actually have that little speed boost, is that they have to be a, they have to spawn on water of some sort. That's what I've sort of gotten from it. Um, that's just how it is at the moment. I'm not too sure, but let's just say we want to do War Turtle for it at the moment. He can't be actually rideable, so pretty much all you guys want to do is do is rideable and just tick it every time. Now, if you do want to do a little bit of customization to it, make it a bit perfect, because sometimes when you mount them, it puts you in odd places. You can actually change the riding offset of where you position. So, for Blastoise, for example, it puts him negative uh, three. I don't know how it's measured, but it does put him negative something X and it puts him up on the Z. I don't know which one is which, but uh, yeah, it, it, it pretty much just changed the locations of where you sit on the Blastoise. So if you want to mess around with that, you can do that. Uh, let's just do it for example. Let's just do something just stupid. So let's just go to the writing offsets and let's just go um, negative five and ten and okay, that's 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 too stupid. Let's just do this. I'm pretty sure this will put me, like, off him completely. Yeah, I think that might even put me in the ground. Uh, this will be interesting to test, though, so let's just do that. Did I, did I tick his rideable? I think I did. Um, is rideable? Yep, okay, sweet. So let's let up Minecraft once again. And uh, let's see how this works. So, yeah, I not 100% at the moment, but I do think it has to be some sort of water Pokemon. It has to spawn on the ocean biome or something to actually ride. I'm not sure how it works at the moment, but that's just what from what I've noticed. So single player, creative mode, let's go. So now we've got to find some water. Great. <laughs> All right, oh, there's some water down there. All right, so let's just get out our water turtle. Probably got one in there, but we're going to give one to me anyway. Uh huh. Righto. So oh, there's one right here. Sweet. Alrighty. So if I was to just Put my war turtle right there. Let's see where I go on him. See, I'm actually riding him right now, but all those retarded things we put in put me here. <laughs> so let's try and ride this. You ready? No, that's that that's this way. There we go. I'm riding war turtle. <laughs> I'm riding him. Yeah, so you can mess around with that. I mean, you really can do whatever. Um, there he is. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm riding war turtle. He's and he's swimming in the ocean, but. Uh, yeah, that's just like little th things. Like sometimes Charizard, for example, you're inside him. You can uh, customize that to make it uh, a little bit better and make it look... Oh, holy crap. Oh, I made... Oh, we found a wild Gyarados. Oh, they fly naturally too. Oh, that's the first time I've seen a wild Gyarados like while it's flying. That's pretty sweet. All right, guys, I guess we'll conclude the tutorial there. If you guys did enjoy the video, remember to leave a like below and hopefully we can do more tutorials in the future. If you do have any ideas for tutorials, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.